Canada's 2024 federal budget was presented on April 16th, 2024. Titled Fairness for Every Generation, Budget 2024 is centered around three pillars aimed at supporting the middle class. Affordability, economic growth, and housing. The Liberal government has been really clear that these were their areas of interest, so not surprisingly, these were the areas that we predicted in our pre-budget alert. So what measures did we see in the budget? Well, on the affordability front, we heard about a new tax on the wealthy and on corporations, so here it is. The capital gains inclusion rate is going up. These rules are effective on or after June 25th, 2024, which is really unusual when announcing a change in the inclusion rates. We don't normally have time to plan. So for corporations and trusts, the inclusion rate goes from 50% to two thirds, so 66.7%. And for individuals, the rate goes from 50% to two thirds for gains in excess of $250,000. So this amounts to a 9% tax increase for high rate individuals in BC. On the economic growth front, Canadian Entrepreneur Incentive Plan was announced. So this is a goal to stimulate the economy, encourage investment and create jobs. Entrepreneurs create jobs. So what this one is, is 50% of the inclusion rate on qualified gains when they sell their business. So instead of it being two thirds, it will be one third. There is a lifetime limit, it is phased in over time. So this really is a great measure to enhance what we want from a stimulating the economy, but there will not be a large impact in the short term while this one ramps up. The Canada Carbon Rebate for Small Businesses. So this is only for provinces that participate in carbon tax. Currently individuals are getting a rebate. This new rebate looks to small businesses and acknowledges that they too are paying carbon taxes and circling these funds back, creating st stronger businesses and leading to growth. And finally, lifetime capital gains exemption. So currently an exemption for qualified small business corporation shares, farming and fishing properties, which is currently a million dollars plus change and it's indexed. That's what our exemption is. So the limit for transactions after June 25th, 2024 is increased to 1.25 million, and this will be indexed starting in 2026. So once again, this is rewarding the entrepreneur who has created all of those jobs over the years and acknowledging that for many, the business is in essence their pension plan for retirement. And finally, on the housing front, as we all know, rental housing is hard to find. So we're looking to stimulate more housing and make it available in the market. So how do you do that? You make it beneficial to build more housing. So we've increased the capital cost allowance on projects that begin on or after April 16th, 2024. So the rate that they currently take for a deduction is at 4% and this is going to go up to 10%. The property has to be at have at least four private apartments or 10 private rooms, and it has to be at least 90% for long-term rental. This also applies for converting non-residential to residential properties. So faster deductions equal more incentive to build. And the sleeper on the housing front, which was not in the tax measures, but also has to do with housing. And so this one, it is getting so complicated to own land in Canada. The federal government believes that owners of vacant land must also do their part and unlock unused land for homes. So they've announced that the government will consider introducing a new tax on residentially zoned vacant land. Consultations will be launched on this one later this year. For details of these measures and more, visit our website.